This is Dan from uh, Fisher Jeep Adventures. This is my JL uh, Wrangler. And if you want to see how it got from this to this, please stick around for the video. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please hit that subscribe button, like, share, comment. Um, and enjoy what we uh, tried to put together. First thing I did was uh, made a template out of uh, three quarter inch uh, plywood and some extra scraps, kind of cut to the radius of the tire uh, with two pieces right here that'll sit down on a tire. And the reason why they're there is to have a ratchet strap kind of hold that down on the inside of the tire. So I took this model, um, gave it to a friend of mine who is a uh, aluminum welder and he made this table for me. It's made of 3 16 aluminum and it's designed just like the model. So it has interior bracing and then two flat pieces that you can run a uh, ratchet strap over. So the goal is gonna be, for me anyway, to sand this, paint it, um, and then I'm gonna put a room box on the back of it. And then I'm gonna mount a shovel here, shovel brackets right there and right there so that the shovel sits on the outside to keep it from inside the Jeep. So a pretty cool project. I think it's gonna turn out well. All right, we added these brackets by Built Right Industries. Um, and they hold these um, quick fist clamps and we got one on each side and they are designed to hold a shovel and uh, I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. So the nice thing about these clamps um, is these quick fist clamps, they're like 10 bucks on Amazon. So if they ever get dry rotted, if they ever get damaged, all you gotta do is just take these couple bolts off and pop a new set in um, and you're ready to go. All right, so that's how the shovel fits in. So if you ever need it, it's outside. That way if it gets dirty, it's not in the Jeep. It's nice and secure and it sits perfectly on that tray. All right, well, we finally finished everything up and uh, got everything mounted. Um, as we showed in the initial stuff, we had this bracket designed by a friend of mine. It's 3 16 aluminum. Um, I made a template out of wood and then he basically just copied it into aluminum. Uh, we put on better built uh, brackets that use these uh, fist clamps uh, for shovels. It'll hold an axe. It can hold anything else that's round. And then on top of it, we put a roam box. So this is the 52 liter uh, roam box. Um, and then we fasten it to the tray with some cooler locks. Um, so it's basically just a bar that slides down in where the handle would be. Um, and then we just use some eight inch, um, three eighths inch eye bolts uh, from, from Lowe's. So I think it worked out pretty good. Um, we can stick whatever we want to in there uh, for either carrying dry stuff, food, um, clothes, whatever it is. Uh, they're sealed boxes with a drain and um, I think it turned out really good. And if you guys are in the, the market for a shovel, this is a uh, Structron um, utility tool made in America. It's half the price of the Beaver um, shovel that you often see advertised uh, for off-road recovery style things. So happy with the shovel, happy with the box. The tray came out uh, really, really well. And uh, Jacob is in the process of getting his fitted up. He's already got his clamp set. Um, and the tray was painted as I showed in the other video uh, or the other clip and uh, he's going to get a box just like this eventually. So um, I think it turned out well for what we did and uh, I'll put links below and in the comments for the things that we have on here um, if you guys want to check it out. So uh, this is Fisher Jeep Adventures and we'll talk to you next time.